Howdy, hey folks, it's the Coltrane, and the Halo Reach Fireflight went live over the weekend, and I was fortunate enough to receive an invite as a result of being a part of the Halo Master Chief Collection Insider Program. If you're unaware of what this program is, it is essentially 343's way of testing various components of each Halo game coming to MCC both on the Xbox and the PC. While geared primarily towards PC and the releases of Halo MCC's titles coming to PC, it will also be used for Xbox. If you want to learn more about this program and see how you can join, head over to HaloWaypoint.com, go to the Master Chief Collection game tab, and you can find all of the info there. I will place a link in the description below. I'm not sure, but I believe you can still choose to opt into the program to participate in future flighting, but don't quote me on that. Head over there and check it out. This weekend's flight was specifically for Halo Reach's Firefight on PC. Before I go further, let me be clear that this is a work in progress build, so anything you see here is subject to change. The purpose of the flight, from what I understand, was primarily to test matchmaking capability and efficiency, and just to see if it all works smoothly. The entire client was also offered through Steam, so the flight was also just a big test to see how integration with Steam worked. The build only offered limited content to where we only had three maps available which were Beachhead, Corvette, and Holdout, and only offered two game type versions which were Normal Grab Bag Firefight and Heroic Standard Firefight. Normal Grab Bag Firefight offered a selection of modes such as Fiesta Fight, Fuel Rod Starts, and Sniper Magnum Starts, and then Heroic Firefight was just the standard Firefight, no special starting weapons or shenaniganry with Fiesta or anything like that. No other options were given and no Spartan customizations were offered either, but this makes sense because of the specific nature of what the flight was trying to test. Alright, so my overall impressions. Pretty good. The gameplay felt great on mouse and keyboard, and I thought it was very intuitive, and the controls felt like they made sense from a control mapping layout standpoint. I have not played a ton of first-person shooters on the PC, but I thought it all felt pretty good. Visually, the game looks extremely impressive. The higher frame rates and the updated resolutions, along with the removal of motion blur and film grain, make this game look extremely crisp, and I dare say quite modern looking. This gives me great excitement for what the other titles look like on the PC once they make it. The game itself felt like the Halo Reach we know and love, and it felt extremely smooth in the moment-to-moment -moment actions. The only hiccups I ran into was I did experience three crashes of the client in the middle of a game, an error message would pop up saying a critical failure had occurred and that the Master Chief Collection would crash, and then it did. This was to be expected, and it really didn't catch me off guard because it is a giant test. While crashes are not fun, this is a work in progress build, so there you go. After each crash, I simply reloaded the game and the client and hopped right back in without an issue. Other than that, I did have a couple games where right as I would start, the host would get disconnected and I would have to start matchmaking again, but that only happened a couple of times. Other than that, I felt it went really smoothly and I think the matchmaking component is working quite fine based on my experience. Again, this is a work in progress build, so if everything you see here is subject to change. But with that, I will leave you with the gameplay. Thanks so much for watching. Choose joy in your life today, and I'll see you in the next video. Reinforcements.
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then I would invite you to leave a like as well as consider subscribing and hitting the bell if you'd like to see more content from me. But let's not leave it there. Interacting is always the best part, so I want to invite you to a couple places where you can do that with me. The first is Twitter. I'm constantly tweeting about anything game related as well as just sharing my everyday life and would love to interact and talk with you there. Also, would love to invite you to come hang out with me on stream sometime. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday by 9 p.m. Eastern. Would love to invite you to come hang out there and talk about any games you're playing as well as just experience whatever I'm playing at that time. Lastly, would also love to invite you to come give our podcast a listen, the Fair and Balanced Play podcast. I and some friends talk about anything in gaming, anything that's happening in the industry, and would love to invite you to come join in on that and interact with us there. But regardless of what you choose to do, I hope you choose joy in your life today. And I hope you take that joy and you go give it to the next person you interact with. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.